Hello and welcome to our latest tutorial video on the OpenCM904. In this tutorial video, I will be showing you how to use the temperature sensor with the OpenCM904. The temperature sensor is an analog sensor. Its output ranges from negative 20 degrees Celsius to 120 degrees Celsius. Please don't exceed these limits as you will risk damaging your temperature sensor. The temperature sensor, as seen here, can be attached to any of the 5-pin ports on the OpenCM904. For this example, let's attach it to port 3. Now I want to show you how to program the temperature sensor using R plus task 2.0 and the OpenCM IDE. Let's create a basic program in R plus task 2.0 whereby the program output monitor prints 0 when the temperature is below 22 degrees Celsius, 50 when the temperature is between 22 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius, and 100 otherwise, i.e. when the temperature is above 30 degrees Celsius. As you can see, I have my OpenCM904 powered via two 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries. I have the temperature sensor connected to port 3 and the BT210 Bluetooth module connected so that I can download programs to my OpenCM904. Remember that if you are using RoboPlus software, you must download programs to your OpenCM904 via Bluetooth as you cannot download them via microB USB cable. Now, let's run R plus task 2.0. Let's create a new program, choose the OpenCM904 as the main controller, and click OK. The first thing that I will do is add a comment to my program so that people can understand what my program is about. I will input temperature sensor example program. Then I will start writing my main program in the start program block. First, I need to insert an endless loop instruction. In the endless loop block, I will insert a conditional clause. As explained earlier, I want my program output monitor to print 0 when the temperature is below 22 degrees Celsius, 50 when the temperature is between 22 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius, and 100 otherwise, i.e. when the temperature is above 30 degrees Celsius. This means that there will be one if statement, one else if statement, and one else statement. So one if statement, one else if statement, and one else statement in the endless loop block. In the if statement, double click the first question mark to insert the sensor parameter. Click on controller device, accessory device. The temperature sensor is connected to port 3. Therefore, I will click on port 3 and choose temperature sensor. Next, double click on the equals equals comparison operator. My first if statement will check whether the temperature is below, i.e. less than, 22 degrees Celsius. Therefore, I will choose the less than comparison operator. Lastly, double click the second question mark to insert the value that will be read by the temperature sensor. Under common, number, I will type in 22. This means that if the temperature sensor senses a temperature that is less than 22 degrees Celsius, my program will execute the statement in the if block. If the temperature is below 22 degrees Celsius, I want my program output monitor to print zero. Drag a load instruction into the if block. Double-click the first question mark to insert the print screen parameter. Click on controller device, etc., and choose print screen. Next, I will double-click the second question mark to insert the value that I will write to print screen. Under common, number, I will type in zero. If the temperature is not below 22 degrees Celsius, my program will not execute the statement in the if block. Instead, my program will execute the statement in the else if block or in the else block. 
In the else if block, I want my program output monitor to print 50 if the temperature is greater than or equal to 22 degrees Celsius and less than 30 degrees Celsius. Here, I will need to insert a logical AND operator. So let me show you how to do this and then I'll explain all of it. The else if statement is executed, i.e. the program output monitor prints 50 to the screen, if the temperature sensor reads a temperature that is greater than or equal to 22 degrees Celsius, and if the temperature sensor reads a temperature that is less than 30 degrees Celsius. Both of these conditions need to be true in order for my program to execute the statement in the else if block. This is why we use the logical AND operator. If the temperature is neither less than 22 degrees Celsius nor between 22 and 30 degrees Celsius, then my program will execute the statement in the else block. In the else block, I want my program output monitor to print 100 if the temperature is greater than or equal to 30 degrees Celsius. So let's go over my program one more time. If the temperature sensor senses a value or senses a temperature that is less than 22 degrees Celsius, my program will print zero to the output screen. Else if the temperature sensor senses a temperature that is greater than 22 degrees Celsius and less than 30 degrees Celsius, my program will print 50 to the screen. Otherwise, my program will print 100 to the screen. Now, let's save the program that we created. I will call my program temperature sensor example program. Before downloading the program, prepare a hot bowl of water and a cold bowl of water. Be careful when handling hot objects. Once I have prepared a cold bowl of water right here and a hot bowl of water right here, and I have saved the program, I will download it to my OpenCM904. Make sure that you have selected the correct COM port number, then click download. Once download is complete, place the temperature sensor in the cold cup of water, click on the debugging tab, Make sure that you have selected the correct COM port number, then click Start. Because the water temperature is less than 22 degrees Celsius, the program output monitor prints zero. Take the temperature sensor out of the cold bowl of water, wipe it off, then wrap your hands around it to heat it up. The temperature sensor will heat up and after a few seconds you can see that the program output monitor prints 50. Since the temperature of my hand is greater than or equal to 22 degrees Celsius and less than 30 degrees Celsius. Next, place the temperature sensor in the hot bowl of water. As you can see, the program output monitor prints 100 
since the water temperature is greater than 30 degrees Celsius. Similarly, I have created a program in the OpenCM IDE. As you can see, I first import the sensor library so that I can use the temperature sensor by using include olo.h. I'll then call the olo function. In the setup, I initialize communication with the temperature sensor that is connected to port 3. In the loop, I will insert a conditional clause. If the temperature sensor reads a temperature that is less than 22 degrees Celsius, the serial monitor will print, Burr, it's cold. Then it'll print the ambient temperature value that the temperature sensor reads. If the temperature sensor reads a temperature that is greater than or equal to 22 degrees Celsius and less than 30 degrees Celsius, the serial monitor will print, it's normal, and then it'll print the ambient temperature value that the temperature sensor reads. Otherwise, i.e. if the temperature reads a temp if the temperature sensor reads a temperature that is greater than or equal to 30 degrees Celsius, the serial monitor will print it's hot and then it'll print the ambient temperature value that the temperature sensor reads. After preparing a cold bowl of water and a hot bowl of water and checking that I've chosen the correct board and serial port, make sure that you are connected via micro BUSB cable, of course, I will click on the download button. Once download is complete, place the temperature sensor in the cold bowl of water. The serial monitor prints burr it's cold, then prints the temperature value on the same line. Take the temperature sensor out of the cold bowl of water, wipe it off, and wrap your hands around it to heat it up. When the temperature warms up to 22 degrees Celsius, the serial monitor prints its normal, then prints the temperature value on the same line. Finally, place the temperature sensor in the hot bowl of water. The serial monitor prints its hot, then prints the temperature value on the same line. Congratulations, you have learned how to use the temperature sensor. You can download both programs that we created in the description below. In our next tutorial video, I will be showing you how to use the IR sensor with the OpenCM 904.